Monday morning at Sack FM. Uh, good morning. Good morning to you. Do you remember that song? Do you remember that song? Cracking stuff. That was Wild Cherry, I think, wasn't it? It was Ram Jam. Ram Jam. Of Wild course. Cherry did play oh, that funky music. Oh. Ram Jam did Black Betty. Yes, Black Betty, of course. <laughs> so it's it's a good start to the daily challenge, then. <laughs> <laughs> I do try. <laughs> uh, so in the studio today, it's James Sheen. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, not too bad. You are a contestant this week on The Daily Challenge. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm 53 and I'm from Bury St Edmunds, obviously. Um, and uh, I run a little Facebook group called We Love Bury St Edmunds. Well, I say little, uh, we're just hovering under, we're probably around 16,000 people at the moment in the group. Which Whoa, 16,000 people? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And we did that within about 18 months. We did 9,000 people in the first 30 days of the group. Being wow. Consistent. That's good going. So, Very good going. Yeah. So you, good. you're obviously quite quite famous. Uh, <laughs> I like to think that people know me, but I wouldn't say famous. I'd say yeah. I would like to think that all sixteen thousand people in your group are listening to you on the radio right now. There better be, otherwise I might have to delete them. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should tonight. Okay. Well, well when you at some time before tomorrow morning, uh, put it out there to every one of them. They have to be listening and uh, monitor that they're listening tomorrow morning. Okay. Can you do that? I, I think I can do that. I can uh, put a little post up and say. You've got to like this. If you don't like it, then, oh dear, you're walking on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds good. So, you're in for the daily challenge now. Do you know how this works on a Monday? I've got a rough idea. I'm, I'm up for anything. I'm going for a laugh. Good, good, good. We're all up for a laugh around here. So, uh, Monday is called Minute to Win It. We give you a minute on the clock and you have to talk for a minute without saying um or uh or hesitating in any way at all. So, uh, since you are the man about Bury St Edmunds, shall we talk about the local area? Let's make it the local area, shall we? The local area of Bury St Edmunds, certainly. Okay, minute on the clock, here we go. Right, the local area of Bury St Edmunds covers quite a big area. There's about 40,000 people that actually live in Bury St Edmunds itself. Local area covers places such as Brandon, Thetford, Newmarket, um, Brown. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> How many seconds? James, that was 11 seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> 11 seconds. I can't believe that. <laughs> 11 seconds. I was looking forward to hearing all the information about uh, the, the area. You and me, both. <laughs> but we got, we got an um. We had an um. Yeah. So, tomorrow morning, are you coming back for more? You bet I am. Okay. Uh, have a great Monday. Uh, we'll chat more tomorrow morning. Thanks for playing the Daily Challenge, James. Have a good Monday. Cool, cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's Zach FM. It's Monday morning. How are you feeling this morning? Great to have your company. This is Juice and Zach Breakfast between now and 9 o'clock this morning. It's gonna be Good morning, Zach of Emmett's Wednesday morning. James is here for day three of the Daily Challenge. Good morning. Good morning. So it's your third day on the Daily Challenge. I, I would like to know, just tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, we know you're from Bury. We know how old you are. Any Anything else you'd like to share with us today? Yeah, I like alcohol quite a bit. I, I, <laughs> I used to work for Victoria Wine and Threshers and Oddbins and uh, now work for Adams and that's really cool. Uh, but Victoria Wine was cracking. I was a manager for them and I worked for them about 20 odd years and uh, got a lot of wine education and a lot of fun with that. A lot of tastings. Oh, what a it's job. Good. Oh, it's hard work, isn't it? What a job. I always think a chocolate taster or a, an alcohol taster must be such a good job. Well, because I work in Adams, you see now, that we also sell chocolate as well. We do tastings on that as well. So I do taste Lots of things and stuff. So I'm, do we? I'm do, good at food matching. Do we? Do, could we get some tasters in the radio station? Maybe. I don't normally drink alcohol before food, but uh, no, after I breakfast like to, we no, should be all right. Oh, I like to think you don't eat on an empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> good That's <one>. my philosophy. <laughs> good one. Uh, today, then, uh, Daily Challenge Day 3 is called Wrong Wednesday. You know how hard it is to... Um, kind of say the wrong answer to something because it's kind of drilled in our head that that's the, what we do and that kind of thing sure uh, so today I'm going to test you out see how clever you're feeling uh, I've got six simple questions for you here you have to answer the question wrong to win the game okay you ready yeah, I'm, I'm spot on ready okay what colour's the sun black what colour is grass mauve and where is Buckingham Palace on my head how many legs does a spider have 26 what noise does a snake make oink 
<laughs> How many sides does a 50p have? 26. Easy today. Very easy. <laughs> Put your head screwed on Very, your head. very easy today. Wow, you smashed that Never for sure. Imagine, imagine fucking Paris on my head. <laughs> <laughs> That would squash you a bit. Just a tad. <laughs> uh, so, I, I understand you know some famous people as well. I know a few famous people, yeah. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Oh, goodness. So far, I guess probably Barbara Dixon. I love Bob Dixon. And she's coming to Bury soon. Bury Is she? Evans. Yeah, she's coming to the Apex. I, I, I asked them if she, they could uh, get Barbara Dixon along. And she, yeah, no problem. Is she coming in January, January or February? She's not decided yet, but she's got another song which is called May to September, and she's actually coming in September. And I have asked her to, to actually to sing that song, and I've asked her to do an interview as well with her. OK, great. Maybe so we can get her down here. Oh, I can always ask. She's going to say no, can't she? Is, she? is she staying overnight in the caravan? <laughs> <laughs> there is a joke because she does the caravan song. That's the joke, basically. Uh, so, um, yeah, look forward to that. And uh, thanks for popping in today, anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tomorrow's See. Throwback Thursday. Oh, my God. Oh I'm going to ask God. you some questions from many, many years ago, OK? Scary stuff. Have a good Wednesday. Cheers. You too. Thanks. <laughs>